Hi, my name is Kweku and I'm a pharmacist. In this video, I'll review the medication cephalexin, a very commonly prescribed antibiotic that you've probably encountered at some point in time. Now, if you've ever had a skin infection, a urinary tract infection, or certain respiratory infections, there's a good chance that your doctor has prescribed cephalexin. In the next few minutes, I'll cover what cephalexin is, how it works, proper dosing, side effects, and some important safety tips that you should know. Now, a quick disclaimer that this video is for informational purposes only and does not replace medical advice from your doctor. So please do not start, stop, or make any changes to your medication regimen without first talking to your doctor. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is cephalexin? Well, cephalexin belongs to a class of antibiotics called cephalosporins, specifically a first generation cephalosporin. Now, though it is not a penicillin, it is related to the penicillins. And this is important for one reason, which I'll address um, shortly. Now, cephalexin is also marketed under the brand name Keflex. Cephalexin is FDA approved for treating bacterial infections, including skin and soft tissue infections, urinary tract infections, uh, pneumonia, and uh, other respiratory tract infections, bone infections, and ear infections as well. Cephalexin may also be used to prevent heart valve infections in some penicillin allergic patients with heart conditions who are undergoing dental or upper respiratory procedures. Now, what makes cephalexin special is its broad spectrum of activity, which simply means that it can fight many different types of bacteria and it has a relatively good safety profile. Now, the key thing to remember here is that cephalexin only works against bacterial infections, not viral infections like the common cold or flu. I, I I think that is important to state. Now let's talk about how cephalexin fights infections in your body. It functions by targeting bacterial cell walls. Now the bacterial cell walls are barriers that protect the bacteria. Without them, the bacteria obviously cannot survive. Cephalexin disrupts the bacteria's ability to construct and maintain these cell walls, leading to their weakening and ultimately causing them to burst. This action is called a bactericidal action, which means it actually kills the bacteria rather than just stopping them from growing as some other antibiotics do. What makes cephalexin particularly useful is that it concentrates well in the skin tissues, uh, the soft tissues, and the urinary tract, which is why it's so commonly prescribed for skin infections and UTIs. Now let's talk about how to take cephalexin properly because following directions exactly, it's kind of crucial for uh, success with cephalexin. Now cephalexin is available in capsules, tablets, and a liquid suspension. Depending on the type and the severity of the infection, the typical adult dose will be anywhere between 250 to 500 milligrams every six hours or 500 to 750 milligrams every 12 hours. Now, the most important rule with antibiotic is that you take it exactly as prescribed and finish the entire course. Even if you feel completely better after a few days, you must take every single pill. Stopping early can lead to the infection coming back stronger and potentially resistant to treatment. Cephalexin can be taken with or without food, but taking with food can help reduce stomach upset if you experience any. Also, try to space your doses as evenly as possible throughout the day. If you miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember, then continue with your regular schedule. If it's almost time for your next dose, then just take the, uh, that one and then continue normally as you would always do. Now, don't double up on doses. Uh, it's also not a bad idea, especially with antibiotics, to set reminders on your phone if needed just to keep you on schedule. Now, let's cover some important safety information that can help you use cephalexin safely. First and foremost, if you are allergic to penicillin, make sure your doctor knows before taking cephalexin. While most people with uh, penicillin allergies can take cephalexin safely, there's a small chance of cross-reactivity, especially if your allergy to penicillin was very severe. Cephalexin can also interact with certain medications. Uh, for example, if you're taking blood thinners like warfarin, your doctor may need to monitor you more closely. Uh, also, cephalexin can sometimes interfere with certain lab tests, so always um, you know, tell your healthcare providers that you're taking it so that no lab tests will be misinterpreted. Now for pregnancy and breastfeeding, cephalexin is generally considered safe and is commonly prescribed during pregnancy. However, always discuss with this with your doctor, safety first, like I always say. If you have kidney problems, your doctor may need to adjust your dose since cephalexin is eliminated through the kidneys. Now here's something important. Cephalexin can sometimes cause a condition called 
antibiotic associated diarrhea by disrupting the, the normal bacteria in your gut. If you develop severe diarrhea, especially with blood or mucus, definitely contact your doctor immediately. And then also like all antibiotics, cephalexin can make birth control pills, hormonal birth control pills slightly less effective. So consider a backup contraception method during treatment with cephalexin. Now let's talk about some potential common side effects that you might experience as you take cephalexin. I must also say here that most of them are mild and usually very manageable. The most common side effects are digestive in nature, meaning uh, nausea, stomach upset, diarrhea, and sometimes vomiting. Uh, it's estimated that about 10 to 15% of people experience some kind of stomach-related side effects. You might also notice a headache, a dizziness, or fatigue. Some people may develop a mild skin rash or itching. Now here are some tips to help you minimize the discomfort. So take cephalexin with food, like I said earlier, or milk to reduce stomach upset. Also stay well hydrated, especially if you experience diarrhea. Eating yogurt or taking um, probiotics can help maintain a healthy gut bacteria. Though probiotics should be taken at least two hours apart from your antibiotic. That is just general best practice. For mild nausea, try taking smaller sips of water, eating bland foods like crackers or toast, and avoiding spicy or fatty foods while you are taking cephalexin. As I mentioned earlier, most of these side effects are temporary and will resolve once you finish the course of antibiotics. The key is not to stop the medication because of mild side effects. Talk to your doctor about ways to manage them instead and if they are severe enough then a switch to a different medication. Now let's discuss some serious side effects that require immediate attention. These are uncommon, but they are definitely important to recognize. The most serious concern is a severe allergic reaction. You know, signs of that would include difficulty breathing, swelling of the face, lips, uh, the tongue or throat, uh, a severe rash or hives all over your body. If you experience any of these, uh, definitely seek emergency medical care immediately. Another serious side effect is uh, what we call C. difficile associated diarrhea. Also called C. diff. Now this happens when the antibiotic disrupts your normal gut bacteria so much that a harmful bacteria called uh, Clostridium difficile takes over. Now warning signs include severe persistent diarrhea, abdominal cramping, fever, or blood in your stool. Now this can occur during treatment or even weeks after finishing the antibiotic. Some people may experience severe skin reactions like what we call something we call Steven Johnson syndrome which causes painful blistering and peeling of the skin. This is very very rare but definitely requires immediate medical attention. Also if you develop develop severe stomach pain, uh, persistent vomiting, or signs of kidney problems like changes in your urination, please contact your doctor right away. This is not to scare you, but remember I said that these side effects are very uncommon. Cephalexin has been used safely by millions of people for decades. The key is knowing what to watch for and getting the help that you need promptly if it becomes necessary. I sincerely hope you found some value in this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share with somebody who may also find it useful, and stay blessed and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.